Hey everyone. Well, I um, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this, but um, I just saw the news, and I can't believe that well, another another great childhood hero of mine, another icon, another legend, has passed away. The great, the one and only Jason David Frank. He's gone, and I. I'm just in shock right now. I I'm like I'm still processing Kevin Conroy's death. Like I, I don't even know what like I don't even know what's happening right now. Like what what's going on, you know? And um, I just wanted to talk about his life. I wanted to talk about the memories that he brought to my life and to so many other people around the world and so many people that grew up watching him. And this is another one that hurts. I am. It's just another character where. Uh, you know, anybody that grew up in the 90s watching the TV series or the movie, uh, it's, it's, it's probably one of the best television series for its time. And the very first time I saw him, I'll never forget, it was in the 1995 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. His scale of his personality, of his energy, the way his character was in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. That was the, my first impression of watching Jason David Frank. It's just unbelievable because the first time I, you see him fight is in the construction site, you know, and then the way his his fighting style was in the construction site with all these, uh, you know, roundhouse kicks, spinning kicks, and just how fast he was, like I, the way he would make the karate noises, you know, with his, you know, just like Bruce Lee, it's like it was that same type of scale. Someone that would bring it to the screen, you know, to, to to give this performance, this authentic performance. But even then, though, like just his television career with the Power Rangers, it's something that holds deeply into my heart. Like, for, I just remember going to Blockbuster when I was probably about five years old with my dad. He would tell me and my brothers, go pick you know, the movies you guys want and then bring them to the, to the counter. And then I would always bring the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. And my dad would just, hey, Trent, no. <laughs> I would always rent it. And that was my go-to movie when I was a child since five, probably since I was five years old all the way till I was like maybe 14 or 15 years old. I mean, just that movie itself was always on a loop. Another movie that was just... Part of my childhood, you know, the Van Halen soundtrack at the end, you know, and like that movie basically was like the Avengers back then, you know. You know, he was the first person um, that made you believe in superheroes and, and it wasn't animated. It was a real person and he was a real martial artist, you know, and I think that's why I appreciated it even more on another level because it was like watching a martial artist. It was like watching Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan fight or something, you know, but in a more in a kid kind of softer tone, but still exciting and thrilling, you know. He made an impact on so many lives and, 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 and so many people as us fans, you know, and he he was truly like a legend in, in this this era of television and uh, for children watching uh, this 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 person. Jason David Frank brought so much happiness and joy in my my life, my brother's lives, and so many other people's lives. And to say that, you know, that he has played this character for quite a while, you know, he did the, you know, because he started with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in 1993 to 96, and then the, the, the Zeo Power Rangers in 96, and then Turbo, it was in 97, and then he did like a cameo in... Um, he did a cameo in one of the series, I think it was Wild Force in like 2002, and then in 2004, that's when he officially kind of came back in more episodes in the, um, in, um, in Dino Thunder in 2004. And then he even did these uh, Super Power Beatdowns um, in 2018, somewhere around there. He did the, he did Scorpion versus the White Ranger, and then the Green Ranger versus Rayu, Ryu. Ryu those beatdown videos between two random characters uh, I just I'm I'm still in I, I can't believe it I'm really 
really can't believe it. But I, I, I just want to say that he brought so much joy and happiness and, uh, and feeling this invincibility, you know, like a superhero. And he really did. Well, then as a kid, he really was someone that I, I looked up to. What a great legend. And, uh, you know, he will be resting in power. So thank you for watching this uh, video, guys. Um, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. So thanks.